Hi everyone, welcome back. In this Laravel video tutorial, we are going to learn how we can make the POST API in the Laravel. Okay, so let's get start. So first of all, I'm going to show you how many steps we have to follow for the make a POST API. So first of all, we have to check the database configuration, uh, need to make a model, then we have to import this model in the controller and write the code for insert and make a route in the uh, PHP, uh, in the api.php why not in the web.php because in the web.php we will make the code only for the uh, normal website for the api we have to write the code inside the api.php and you can see that here uh, if you need the more detail you can watch our previous video which is for the uh, get api it's uh, pretty simple also all right so now let's uh, start the code so uh, before that let's check what we have uh, this is our database name with the user and we will uh, insert the some data inside the order orders table uh, with the post api and this is our postman all right so first of all i'm going to make the model for the uh, model uh, just clear the things uh, just write the command for make the model okay so the model will be uh, uh, made in uh, make inside the model folder with the parallel of the user.php so just write here php artisan make model and the model name can be order uh, okay first of all we have to give the path model order all right the o should be the capital all right just enter here then you will see that we got the file here all right and after that we have to import it inside the youtube controller all right so i'm going to use it import it as use the file name and we can write here order o r d e r all right so that's fine uh, i'm going to make a new function here with the public keyword public function uh, insert all right and we can write something here like the okay so first of all we have to make the route for this okay just go here and copy this one you can just write the post request here and with the post request just uh, hit the insert function all right so it could be insert uh, youtube at the rate insert now let's go to the youtube.php file and we have to accept the requests here for that uh, just accept the request variable kind of request class all right so just type this one here and inside here just you can print r dollar request and got all the inputs so just print first of all this and after that we will further code again okay and now just go to the postman and here you can write copy the url and how this url is generated you have to know about that we just uh, write the php artisan serve and it will telling thus telling that this url and this this is the base url and the inside the api just uh, why we have to put the api because we are writing it inside the api.php file okay make it post request in the body you can just select the raw data and here just select the json all right so here i'm going to select some like id should be 110 all right so let's check what's the output of this okay so then you can see that we got the id 10 why because we are going to print it all requests are here okay so if i just print the id here then it will just uh, giving me the 10 one one zero all right so uh with that we can i can got the all data from here okay so now let's see 
dot env file is uh, database configured or not so with that you can see that the database name username and password is configured here all right so now let's check the table name so orders is the table okay and we have we need the three fields id order number and user id to insert the new data okay so inside the postman i am just post the id and the second field is okay order number i can just type the order number and order number can be like 777 it can be anything and in the user underscore id can be like five or four anything all right just let's check okay so if i just remove the id from here it will print all the requests okay we got the all data now just we have to uh, write the query for the insert for that i'm going to take a variable order and uh, just create a new object of the orders table uh, okay we did not import it yet i think okay so just use uh there is a model let's catch up with the model use this and just write the file name order okay so just write here order and guys uh, if you are thinking that uh, the table name is orders and the model name is order why it is then how it will sync uh, laravel automatically understand that uh, if the model name is the order or something then the table name should be its plural that means orders then if i have the model name is user then table name should be control uh, users then if we want to put them manually then we have to just write here public dollar table and like my underscore order or anything else but the now the table name is the plural of the word model then we don't need to put it okay that's fine and now uh just uh, we have to just write the code for this then order and the field name is id then id should be we can get with the id all right and the two more fields are here with the what is the name of them order number and the user id okay just put it here user underscore id all right and at the after that we just have to write here order and save that's it this code will be able to insert the data so now everything is fine uh, we just uh, write the postman we send the three requests we write the code we made the controller and all these things so is it working now no there is a one mistake in your code so i will tell you just after the hitting the request now you will see that that okay so i can just comment this one okay so it will telling that the uh, deny to the root password no okay so we, we check the database first of all the, it's the user and what i put the name of database in the dot env file it's a user okay red hat at the rate of one two three everything should be fine so while this error is here it's telling that access is denied but it should not be denied mm -mm -mm -mm. just hold for a second i will be back with you yeah 
yeah sorry for that actually uh, the password of my db is the red hat at the rate one two it's not the one two three all right so that's my mistake uh, and after that uh, let's try to uh, insert it so let's i'm going to hit that then you will see there is no anything is not there let's check the database here oh we got the new entry here but why this is uh, blank because we did not show anything so if i just echo it and i made some id like uh, 1011 because it's a unique primary key then you will see that we got the one result here okay so we got the one database entry also here okay so this is the very basic thing things that we have to uh, use uh, during the post api and uh, one more thing that you can do dollar result and if you want to show that uh, if dollar result equal equal to one just you can write return here return record is inserted all right that's looking nice if i just put the new id here then you will see that record is inserted all right so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you have any kind of query and suggestion then you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel and uh, uh, if you like this video please uh, give a big thumbs up on that so thanks guys thanks for watching this video again okay.